her second. She's been in season. This is uh, Tico Foods. <clears throat> All right, yeah. Tico Foods is nearly three, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 400 quid ain't a lot of money for her, is it? We're in I'm about to find out one way in which Chris Mosdall may be boosting his income. Now, tonight, tonight we're going for a massive gamble. This is massive. She, yeah. she will win. She's called Penny's Swan. She won tonight. I won How many dogs you got? I've already told him I've owned a greyhound before. This is only my first meeting, yeah, yeah. but it's not long before he's hinting at how he fixes races. Yeah. You've obviously been around kennels before, so you know funny games get played and... Well, there's um, funny games on it, you mean you don't let a dog win and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I let Chris Mosdall think I'll go along with it. Yeah. Listen, I'll be honest with you, Phil. <laughs> I've been playing games well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when uh, when you say um, games, you mean you've been stopping her on previous races so she's getting the yeah, yeah. By slowing a dog, a trainer can lengthen the odds on it and even get it regraded so that it only runs against lesser dogs. Then, once it's been categorised as a long shot, he can run it without drugs, vastly increasing its chances of winning. It's race fixing and it's completely illegal. Four days later, I return to Chris Mosdall's kennels. I buy Tico Foods for 400 pounds. That's 400. Yeah. Count it. Now. So that. Tico Foods will run this weekend in a race including her kennel mate, Penny Swan. Chris Mosdall's told me he's been stopping both dogs in previous races. So how does he do it? What, what, do, you, what do you use, by the way? I shouldn't show you anything. No, I mean, I'm, no, of course I won't. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is, um, right. You give him an injection of that. that that's a real strong vitamin. That helps him in the races, pulls him on a bit more. Yeah. And I, on a high D's in there. These are Valoids. All right. They're, they're three of them. What, what does that do? It cuts the adrenaline out of the body. All oh, right. So when they're going around the last beam, they've got no extra. I shouldn't tell you what it's really. No, 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 but you know, I just need to know so that I'm, I'm, I'm like that, you know. If you give her that, what do you reckon she'll come? Fourth. Fourth or fifth. Perfect. Yeah. It's race day at Wimbledon Greyhound Stadium. Our dog, Tico Foods, is up against her kennel mate, Penny Swan, in the 9.15 race. Earlier, Chris Mosdall revealed his plans to stop both dogs with drugs, with a view to letting each win at a later date. He takes time out to meet me at trackside. He immediately confesses to having just given the dogs cyclazine. I'll give her three tablets, but no, you must never tell that. No, no, no. I'm give them three, three and a half hours while they run, which year. I gave them to a quarter and six. I also give Penny Swan some. Yeah. They'll come out the same, bouncing. But when they got a kick, it's not there. Give me five people. Having given them such a large dose, he's now worried they might run too slowly, making it obvious they've been doped. I just don't want them to displace yourself, because if they get tested, I'll Yeah, yeah. Because they're both at them. And there's, there's absolutely no explanation whatsoever for these dogs having a minute. He boasts that his reputation as a race fixer is well known. I'm known as the biggest fucker in the world. The biggest what? <laughs> Massively. Just as Chris Mosdall predicted, our dog Tico Foods comes fifth, while Penny Swan comes in fourth, both running considerably slower than they would do normally. But Chris Mosdall tells me he's into a much more lucrative type of bet. A combination tricast involves picking the first three dogs to cross the finish line in any order. He tells me that in a six-dog race, he simply drugs or knocks over the other three greyhounds. And what I used to do is I'd get two dogs that I've got in the race tonight, knock them over, do this stuff. And I'll get hold of another kennel hand and give him a thousand pound shake, and I'd knock his dog over. Oh, right, right, and yeah. they do the tri pass in Ireland, but always. The last one we done was 33,000 euros. That's what they had on. 
Back at his kennels, Chris Molesdell tells me more about how he rigs races for tricast bets. Chris. How you doing, mate? Not bad, not bad. How are you? It seems the number of people colluding with him or benefiting from his race fixing is wider than I'd realised. But who did it? You have to get someone else involved, don't you? You have to get the other, the other, the other trainer. Yeah. But you said that you had the kennel home, but you have the trainer as well. Despite his cavalier attitude to race fixing, he still claims to love his dogs. This is a vantage lot of my dogs. They love me to death. Yeah, but he that. says the more frequently he drugs them, the greater the risk yeah. to their health. <laughs> you have to leave it there a couple of months because the system's f***ed. He will burn the kidneys out. How many times have you stopped in total, do you think? Five. Five, yeah. Mm. What, all this year? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot in it. Yeah, so you want to give a break. GB tested eight dogs in Chris Mosdell's care for drugs. Six were negative. Two, Penny Swan and Tico Foods, tested positive for cyclozine.